Welcome to you and all of your parts. Hi, I'm Laura Lively. I have a thing about moments of joy. I have a thing I suggest for my clients, and I thought I would share it with you, particularly as it relates to people who are trying to change their relationship with food or alcohol or love relationships. And my advice is, when you've used those sorts of things like cupcakes and wine and a romantic partner to be the only joy in your life or your parts think that's the only joy in your life, I invite you to go find moments of joy, right? And I always say to them, okay, this does not mean, you know, when I say what makes you happy, don't think trips to the Eiffel Tower unless you happen to live in Paris, right? Because most of us, that's not our day-to-day -day life. What I'm inviting people to do is find those moments of joy in your life that don't involve food, alcohol, or your romantic partner, or uh, gambling, or whatever it is that you're trying to change in relationship to, uh, you know, what brings you joy. Let's go find those moments of joy in your life, and let's look for the small things, okay? So begin to notice moments that bring you joy. Maybe it's a beautiful sunset. Maybe it's an unearthed crocus or grape hyacinth. The spring flowers start to show up in your neck of the woods. Maybe it's the first snow of the season. Stop and take a moment. Maybe it's with you've got your dog suddenly throws himself in your lap. Find those moments of joy and then figure out how to add them to your day. And then also, and I think this is really important, be grateful for them. I found that for me, Different parts have different things that make them happy and give them joy. And so I'd invite you to consider, you know, what makes some of your parts happy? Some of my parts love being out in nature. They love looking for interesting flowers or interesting fauna flora, right? They love looking for plants that are interesting looking. They like mushrooms that we really, thanks to my sister, we love hunting for mushrooms, they also even really love lush moss on rocks. So I didn't know that was something I liked, but there is a part of me that really enjoys that, really enjoys looking and hope, you know, finding new interesting things to look at. Other parts of me turn to mush when my cat jumps in my lap and he snuggles down like he has never been happier in his life. There are parts of me that like, there's so much love that pours out of me when he does this. Other parts love playing solitaire with a real deck of cards, right? Those parts love the sound and the slap of those cards as I'm moving through them. My invitation to you is where do you find moments of joy in your day? And then begin to notice which parts of you love those different things. Who's tickled to swing in a playground? Who loves playing in paint and painting regardless of what the outcome is on paper? Which part of you loves watching British mysteries? Where are those moments of joy in your life? And then how can you get more of them? And then once you're doing these things, purposely invite your parts to be there with you on the couch when you're re-watching Sherlock for the umpteen teen time, because who doesn't love Benedict Cumberbatch? Bring out the giggling part of you that loves playing in the children's playground in the city park. Enjoy those moments and find more ways so that you can have joy in your life so that when the parts that want to drink, want to eat, want to gamble, you can say, hey, we can do this instead. Let's go to the park. Hey, let's sit down and watch Benedict Cumberbatch. Hey, I'm gonna pick up the dog. And I'm just going to love him up because we love how it feels when he loves us back unconditionally. Enjoy those moments and find ways to have more of those moments in your life. So thanks for joining me today. Be sure to let me know if this resonates with you or if it's helpful at all. And until next time, love to you and all of your parts. <laughs>